and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Hi, I'm Gina and in today's video we are going to be doing a sewing room makeover and then a sewing room tour. So a little backstory, we did a mini makeover of this room back in the summer but budget limitations meant that we couldn't get all the furniture that we kind of needed to make this a really great functional space. So it's been a few months since that time the room has descended into chaos since, I'm um, not gonna lie, I need a really, really good sort out. I've got so many PDF patterns that I just need to declutter and get rid of because I'm not gonna use them or they're just, they're ripped, whatever it is. I've got two huge boxes of them. Um, I've got a lot of fabric scraps that I'm never gonna use that need to just go. Um, and I need to have clear out of remnants and things like that. So we went to Ikea at the weekend and got some of the furniture that I needed because I've been saving up. So we went and got those bits and I've got some Amazon deliveries hopefully arriving today of just little storage bits like baskets and jars and things like that. So yeah, I'm really hopeful that this room is gonna be looking very different by the end of the day and I'll be able to give you a nice tour. But at the moment, it's an absolute eyesore room is actually the conservatory on the back of my house. I'm very very lucky to have a sewing room and this space is beautiful. It's got great natural light. It's really lovely. It's a good size but it is a cut through to the garden so it has to be laid out in a certain way so the kids can get in and out of the garden really easily. Before I get started with anything I am going to have a little bit of a whip around and a tidy up because it is an absolute disgrace and I do not want to put this on the internet right now <laughs> and admit that it's ever got this bad. But then we will start getting everything sorted getting the furniture up and giving this sewing room a really good makeover. Don't be fooled, it was a lot, lot messier than this 10 minutes ago. Um, so this is what I'm working with now. Boxes that are absolutely overflowing, drawers that are overflowing. Literally just as I finished filming that intro, my little baskets from Amazon arrived. So I've managed to pick up my paper patterns because they were all over the floor. So this over here is the main problem area. So there's a lot of problems because all of my kind of habby stuff is in there, which is not the most easily accessible. It's really annoying. Um, I do have this Ikea pin board here, but it's not very practical. I need to get rid of all the patterns on there and just have a bit of a sort out. When we went to Ikea, they didn't have these tubs in stock because I really wanted to get a lot more of those. Um, and I wanted to get a couple of the bigger ones. So I'm gonna see if I can order those online so I can get that looking a little bit nicer because it looks awful right now. Fabric storage wise, these are the Ikea Calaxes. Now I've got a set of four that's got the doors on with the big tubs. These are all scraps as well. So that's what I need to have a sort out of. And then these are all my nice fabrics. And in here, we've got some more nice fabrics. And this one is organized remnants, which is quite nice. So this tub over here is full of like bridal fabrics. So I was gifted this from Minerva ages ago for a post and I've still got quite a lot left and I don't want to get rid of it, but obviously it's for a very specific event. Hint, hint to my partner, a wedding. <laughs> um, and then the rest of these are little pieces of bridal fabrics that I got given from a friend. And I really don't want to get rid of them because they are absolutely beautiful, but obviously it's not something that I dip into often. So I think what I'm gonna do is just package this all up nicely and put it in the loft so I've got this tub free. So these two tubs here, I don't know what is going on. I don't know why there's fabric on this, but there just is. I've dumped fabric on the top. Underneath is all my PDF patterns. In here is just a random assortment of PDF patterns, um, some uh, big four patterns that I haven't put back in envelopes because I'm lazy. Um, so that's what I really need to sort out today. This might not look like I'm making progress, but I've made a lot of progress. Next stage is just sorting these units out because these are gonna be the legs for the table. So I need to move this fabric here up into this bit, get this down and turn it the other way up um, and then stack everything neatly and then get the boxes back in. Oh, look 
looking very lovely. Right, so we're on the next step, which is removing this old table here and making this whole thing a table, which is going to be so, so good. Um, so the table I've got at the moment is like a fold out plastic one. And honestly, it's the worst thing ever. Every time I use my overlocker or my machine, it shakes like crazy and it's pretty small as well. So I never have enough room to work. How exciting. We've got new table forming. I played the damsel in distress card, so Nick does all the DIY for me. <laughs> it's the next day now and we are finished. I did a lot of tidying this morning, a lot of hoovering, a lot of sorted. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but it always does, doesn't it? But it's finally done and I've got a fresh, clean slate of a room to create some stuff in, which makes my mind just feel so, so great. I cannot work in chaos. <laughs> My life is chaotic enough as it is. Um, so anyway, let me give you a little tour. Okay, here she is. Okay, so I wanted to chat through a few of the details of my lovely new sewing space. Um, a few little bits that I find really, really handy. This little metal tray here is for my work in progresses, um, but I've got a lot going on at the moment, so it's absolutely overflowing. Um, the other thing is this cute little tabletop bin from Amazon. This is great for just chucking threads in. And then I've got this magazine holder here with all my PDFs in. These were from the works, these little files, and um, they were like a pound, but I would not recommend because they're breaking already. My scissors are, I don't know where at the moment, so I've only got a couple of pairs on here, but I've got some hooks from Ikea that I keep my rotary cutter and scissors on, etc. It was not planned, but actually this is so helpful. When I'm doing paper patterns, I hate having the instructions on the table. It really bothers me. So I've clipped them up like that so when I'm sewing I can see them these little tubs are the Ikea ones which I'm gonna get more of now I don't want this like this I am going to sort out eventually my top drawer for all of my kind of haberdashery stuff um, and these tubs here will be for things like um, swimwear elastics buttons little details some zips and stuff like that I've got my pattern weights and a little bit of um, bias interfacing which I need to find a place for and I've got my overlocker threads in this top one my Beyonce notebook which is just incredible love this a little bobbin holder that really does need tidying up um, this is actually the inside of a bobbin case which I've just stuck to the board and it's great I'm gonna get another one of these because this is nearly full um, but I love it these jars here one has kind of spare threads and then this one here has got um, my shearing elastics and random pieces of elastic in as well. And this was from, I can't remember, I think Hobbycraft. Um, and it was originally just pine, so I spray painted it white, but it's really, really good for holding on my threads. These here are the little baskets that I mentioned earlier from Amazon. They're really good. You can get a good amount of paper patterns in here and they fit perfectly on the shelves little pattern weight holder my mum got me I will find out where it's from but it's so cute if you know you know so the goo desserts come in these ramekins and I've literally got thousands in the house and I finally found a use for them down here is my old machine which I need to get a cover for to keep it a little bit protected um, I know it's a bit excessive to have two sewing machines but I'm actually keeping this one here for my daughter when she's a little bit older and wants to do a bit more sewing as you can see under here we have the two units and my little radiator because it gets absolutely freezing cold in here. So I've got um, kind of some work, more work in progresses, alterations box. Over there is like my scraps and linings and things like that. I've got remnants in here and over here I've got all my walls and thick wintry fabrics. I've got my dressmaking fabrics, most of them my favourite ones over here. 
I need to get some doors for these units because I want to keep this all kind of covered and safe. I love to display my fabric, but it's just not practical in this room with the amount of sun that it gets. Oh my goodness, I forgot to mention the most exciting purchase of all of them. I got myself a little wheelie adjustable height chair. This isn't the most comfortable because we had a budget to stick to and this was the cheapest one, it's 50 pounds. Why are these chairs so expensive by the way? Um, but the green matches the room really, really well um, and looks really cute. So I'm happy with that and I can just scoot along between my machine and overlocker now as well and I can move the height so hopefully I won't be crouching over anymore. This area needs a little bit of a sort out. Um, I've got some spare patterns in there and then I've just clipped a pattern up that I was working on and cutting out because I didn't want to have to press the pattern pieces again. But this cutting mat and the ruler are going to be moved to the other side and I'm going to put up some hooks so I can hang my ironing board here. Nothing's really changed in regards to these drawers. I need to get some drawer inserts to go in the top one because I'm going to put all my haberdashery stuff in there. And then down here, I have a box of remnants that I'm gonna see if anybody wants because there's quite a lot of decent stuff in there. So I really hope you enjoyed watching my sewing room makeover and tour. I'm so happy with how it turned out. We did really well at using most of the stuff that we had already. So we managed to stick to our budget and keep it affordable, which was great. Um, obviously, if I had an unlimited budget, there would be a lot more things that I could change, but we worked with what we've got and it's a really lovely, practical sewing space now. I hope you found watching this useful as well if you're looking at doing your own sewing room makeover or anything like that. If you have any questions at all about anything that I've shown you, please pop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But everything that I've shown you that I can, I will link in the description box, any of the furniture that I've got as well, I will pop the names. I mean, this is pretty much an Ikea advert, this room right now, so I'm pretty sure everything is from Ikea but I will pop all the names of all the products and everything like that in the description box. So if you see anything you like the look of, it should all be down there to shop. But I'm now gonna go and enjoy my new space and do some sewing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Take care, bye.